Making humans interplanetary by colonizing Mars is Elon Musk's dream. SpaceX's Falcon 9 has been around for quite a while now, but it's the new gleaming stainless steel rocket that has caught the attention of many at the southernmost tip of Texas. Dubbed the Starship, this long-awaited rocket is on the verge of transforming the space race. Is it any close to the Saturn V that lifted NASA's Apollo missions to the moon? Um, to be honest, it's something we've never seen in human history. The new SpaceX rocket, at approximately 400 feet, will eventually be taller than any other rocket made before. And with a whopping 33 engines, you already know it will deliver twice the thrust. Hmm, that's interesting. That's why in this video, I'll tell you all you need to know about Elon Musk's new rocket, particularly how it's about to change the game in the space industry. I'll also explain why Elon's new toy has been causing sleepless nights for Jeff Bezos after Musk just upstaged him yet again in the so-called space race recently. Remember, this is your favorite hub for all matters related to investing, e-commerce, and entrepreneurship. Before we continue, take a second and hit the subscribe button if you're yet to. Of course, you don't want to miss any of our daily interesting videos. Astronauts and like-minded people say the Starship could have a far more immediate impact on the space industry that has already felt the weight of Musk's ambitions. Yes, and Musk, as we all know him, never shies off from making bold decisions. In fact, those who admire him have claimed that he's about to change the economics of the launch business. Did you know that this rocket has the power to carry as much as 100 tons into low orbit around the Earth? straight. In fact, Peter Diamandis, a US space entrepreneur, says it's game over for the existing launch companies. They'll have to live in the shadows of SpaceX's glory for a long time before they can match Musk's new rocket. There's no vehicle out there on the drawing board that could compete with the Starship. For two decades, Elon Musk has disrupted the aerospace industry and confounded his critics. You see, a little over 10 years ago, SpaceX was on the verge of failing, but luckily, it was saved then by a NASA contract to develop rockets to supply the International Space Station, also known as simply the ISS. Today, SpaceX has since emerged as the strongest performer among new space commercial operators, even outperforming Blue Origin, the aerospace manufacturer and suborbital space flight services company founded by Jeff Bezos in 2000. Musk's venture has put itself in a commanding position in the new commercial space industry at a shockingly high speed. It's only 13 years since it became the first private company to launch its own rocket into orbit, breaking into an industry previously dominated by nation states. Most interestingly, it's also leaped ahead of contractors such as Boeing and Lockheed Martin, whose joint venture, United Launch Alliance, had carried the flag for US space launch but while using Russian engines. Here's why the Starship has been destined for greatness. Unlike anything NASA has ever built, the Starship is designed to be fully reusable. According to Mr. Musk, a fully and rapidly reusable rocket is the only way humans can hope to afford deep space exploration in search of new human habitats beyond Earth. Yes, to be precise, the rocket has to be reusable in a way that is like an aircraft. The billionaire indeed emphasizes that this is the fundamental holy grail for making life multi-planetary. For Musk, the urgent building and testing program taking place in Texas has a specific motivation. He believes it's helpful to have the objective of a self-sustaining city on Mars. This has to be the objective. SpaceX's ascendancy has been underlined over the past six months by a striking series of wins. Of course, we must mention the $2.9 billion contract awarded by NASA to use the Starship to land its astronauts on the moon as early as 2024. The space agency decided to pick only one supplier for this program after earlier indicating it would select two, which brought the warning from Blue Origin. NASA officials point out that they've only awarded SpaceX a single mission, leaving them open to choose other suppliers for future landings. However, Blue Origin still claims that adapting its systems to work with the Starship will force design changes that will lock the agency into dependence on SpaceX in the long term. If things keep heading in this direction, the SpaceX will be the only game in town. Blue Origin continues to cry foul over their losses and has not hesitated to make a counterclaim. They believe SpaceX could end up with monopolistic control of US deep space exploration. Are you enjoying this video? Be sure to like and hit the subscribe button to get the latest updates from us. Now back to SpaceX and its game-changing rocket. Musk went on to upstage Bezos a second time late in September. It must be frustrating for Bezos, who has not had an easy time in recent weeks. 
Just weeks before, the Amazon founder and Sir Richard Branson, founder of the American spaceflight company Virgin Galactic, they each had made personal trips to the edge of space on their company's respective rockets. But the brief moments they enjoyed in microgravity were eclipsed when SpaceX carried four passengers more than five times higher for a three-day joyride around the Earth, making them the first all-civilian crew to reach space. SpaceX also announced the first 500,000 orders for its Starlink broadband network. This makes it the first in a new generation of broadband communication companies operating from a constellation of satellites in low orbit, around 500 kilometers above the Earth. And last week, NASA said two astronauts who had been scheduled to fly on a Boeing spacecraft would be switched to SpaceX's spaceship instead. The company that defined an earlier era of aerospace has had to deal with too many technical obstacles to carry astronauts on its first commercially developed spaceship. This has, in turn, put it well behind what until recently was just a scrappy startup. All in all, SpaceX points to its track record of solving technological challenges. The Falcon 9 rocket system, which is the first reusable orbit-capable rocket ever built, has performed 125 commercial launches, 67 of which were used with a reused rocket. And yes, the Falcon Heavy is currently the most powerful rocket in the world, able to carry a 64-ton payload with a thrust equivalent to 18 747 jets. Despite his successes in the space industry, it's pretty obvious that Musk's rivals won't let him walk away with all the glory that easily. One of Musk's biggest critics is his rival new space entrepreneur and Amazon founder Jeff Bezos. In a recent court filing, Mr. Bezos' aerospace firm Blue Origin accused SpaceX of flouting aviation rules that govern safe launches and went further to accuse NASA of improperly awarding the first moon landing contract exclusively to SpaceX. However, Eric Berger, who is the senior space editor at Ars Technica and the editor of Space City Weather, who also wrote a book called Liftoff about Elon's SpaceX, he rejects the idea that Blue Origin has been treated unfairly. In July 2021, Blue Origin successfully conducted a manned suborbital flight but its heavy rocket, New Glenn, which is built for flights into orbit, is not expected to launch until late 2022. In addition, Mr. Berger insists that SpaceX's lander Starship may be a little more complicated or maybe a little riskier than that of Blue Origin. But one thing is for sure is that there's one company that's done it and there's another that hasn't yet. Of course, Musk's critics and doubters have not given him an easy time though. For instance, many experts question whether a large rocket designed to colonize another planet can double up as an all-purpose transport for more varied and mundane tasks closer to Earth. However, on the flip side, SpaceX's success in turning its current rocket, the Falcon 9, into the main workhorse for reaching space has made competitors in the commercial space industry a bit nervous. At the heart of SpaceX's success, Falcon 9 has brought down the cost of reaching space and become a springboard for both the company's wider business and Musk's ultimate goal of reaching Mars. For now, Musk's plan to launch Starship into orbit has been held up by a U.S. Federal Aviation Administration environmental assessment of the Boca Chica launch site. SpaceX has to win regulatory clearance to launch Starship from its Texas site and show that it can reliably reach space while returning both the rocket stages for reuse. There's no doubt that this will be an essential step in reducing launch costs. So there you have it, everything there's to know about SpaceX's new gleaming stainless steel rocket. Do you believe it'll be a game changer in the space industry as experts have already claimed? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Also, as you might have already noticed, space travel is becoming more and more privatized. Space traveling innovators are increasingly becoming private companies versus state-controlled experiments as it was before. What are your opinions on this? And do you think this is a good thing? Anyway, thanks for staying with us till the end and hope to see you in the next one. And before you go, feel free to leave us a like and subscribe to this channel to get more updates. Goodbye.